Hello, Brad Zanders here again from the Subside Electronics Product Support Group. Yeah, what I want to talk to you for a few minutes about is how we initialize a job. If we want to store jobs in uh, or pipe information so we can uh, print out an as-built of the job or the bore uh, inside of any TKD or TKQ tracker, we can store pipe information here or uh, inside of any TD or TDR, you can also store pipe information. So the process I'm going to show you here over the next few minutes is the same whether you're on TKD, TKQ, or one of our TD displays. So the first thing you have to do is obviously just go into the menu. You're going to scroll down to logging. Select that. Now, logging mode, and I'll talk about all these different line items here, but let's talk about logging mode first. There's two different ways you can store pipe in a tracker or a display. There's either what we call the manual mode or the auto log. Obviously, if it's in disabled, you have no capability of logging pipe information. Let's talk about manual mode first because that's what we recommend most people start out in. Uh, manually means it's not going to store a pipe until you tell it to store a pipe and I'll show you that process. The auto log feature is actually where when you push the store button or each time you send a depth from the tracker back to the remote display it's going to automatically store a pipe. So there has to be a little bit of extra communication involved there between uh, the person running the tracker and the operator on the drill. So let's go ahead first of all and select manual. So the next thing you need to do is make sure you have a new, logged, new log opened up. All you have to do there is highlight new log and select it. And it shows you it's initializing job two. Now let's talk a little bit about some of these other screens and then I'll show you the process of saving a pipe. Uh, next is log manager. Log manager is simply where once you've opened up a job, we just created job two. There's job one as, an, as another job. That's where these files live. If you needed to go back in uh, and view them at any time or you're going to download uh, any of the jobs. TMS Plus is simply if you are going to uh, convert any of your files that you have in here or your stored jobs to a .750 file for use with our uh, TMS Plus bore mapping software. Most users today with TK products are using our TSR or TSR mobile software. The next thing is obviously just delete all logs. If you wanted to delete all the logs in here, you'd simply hit the select key. Uh, or if you just needed to delete a last pipe, and I'll show you another way we can delete a, a pipe also. So that's basically the logging menu um, and what you can do inside of there. So we'll back out to the main screen. If you'll notice in the bottom menu bar now, I have an icon here. It looks like a little clipboard. That's telling me that I have an open job and I can now store pipes. So once you've pinpointed the beacon front to back, side to side, you're ready to store a pipe. We're in the manual logging mode. All I have to do is if I push and hold the select key, once I see the depth pop up here, if I hit the up arrow, you'll see that it shows job two, pipe one was just now stored. So again, to store pipe manually, you have to have a job initialized and then you have to have your pipe pinpointed. You're gonna push the select key till you see the black rectangle come up around the depth and then you're gonna quickly hit the up arrow. So you see job two, pipe two has now been stored. That's how you store a pipe manually. Let me show you how you would delete a pipe if you needed to, and it's kind of a quick process. Remember, the other way you can delete a pipe is if you go into the menu, the logging menu, then delete last pipe. If I were to store a pipe here, and I stored it, and I immediately hit the down arrow, it'll show that pipe three was just deleted. So most of the time, you're probably gonna be going back into the menu uh, to, lead a, to delete a pipe. So let's go into the menu, go to logging, go to logging mode. I'm going to go to auto log this time. Back out to the main walkover screen. Notice I still have my icon there. What I'm going to do now is the process is the same. 
except I don't have to hit the up arrow this time. Whenever I push and hold the select key to capture a depth, when the black rectangle pops up, notice it says job two, pipe three. Whenever you see the black rectangle pop up around the depth, it automatically stores the pipe. So that's what I was talking about a little earlier. You have to have a little bit of communication between the operator and whoever's running the tracker because if the operator wants to know the depth of the tool head at the time, you're probably going to be just pinpointing the beacon and getting your auto depth to pop up and then radioing it back to him because every time you hit the depth key and the black rectangle pops up, it's going to auto log that pipe. So you have to remember that. Um, that's essentially it on how you store pipes, how you initialize a new job. Um, common call we get a lot. Okay, hopefully you found that video beneficial. If you have any more further questions, I'd encourage you to contact your local dealer. Uh, they can assist you as well. Uh, you're welcome to always contact Subside Electronics Product Support Group and we'd be more than happy to help you. Uh, also, don't forget about checking out other videos on the Subside Electronics YouTube page.